So what are the odds that this uh, Jared guy accidentally catches a dagger in the back later on tonight? Indeed. I heard that John Aaron had fallen ill recently. How does he fare? It has been some time since we left King's Landing to come north to the Wall. No news has reached our ears since then. Nonetheless, knowing the Lord of the Eyrie, it is probably nothing. He has an iron constitution. Everyone knows that. I just hope that he has not aged too much. Very well. I believe I know where the girl is. The one John Aaron speaks of in his letter. Perfect. I knew we could count on you. Lord Aaron only gives his trust to men of great worth. Then tell me, sir, where is she? According to the information given in the letter, the girl is most likely hiding in Molestown. In Molestown? The village we passed along the King's Road? Yes. To protect themselves from the constant cold outside, the inhabitants have built an underground passage. I will lead us there. We will no doubt find her there. Strangers are seldom seen in these parts. We'll ask the villagers about her. Very well. Let us get on our way. Hold on. I just received a raven with a message from King's Landing. Dark wings. Dark words. What is it? Let's go outside, Morse. I don't wish to speak of this in the common hall. Yo, I'm gonna let you finish. What's going on, Jor? But Beyonce had the hottest mm. video this Very year. well. <laughs> the King's Hand, John Aaron. He's dead. Of course he is. Luckily he has that iron constitution. I just got shot with two arrows like 15 minutes ago. Oh, we're back in Alistair. Here we go. It kind of, it actually does act like the show. Just when something gets good, it cuts you off to the other guy. It's just like the show. <laughs> Good God, that haircut is seriously swagless. It looks like a toupee and cancer had a baby. Oh my God. That's just... That's an atrocity against man right there. <laughs> if you need a reason to start a war, there it is. Oh, thank God they rendered in all the horse poop. I want my Game of Thrones experience to be ultra authentic. Hello, my lord. Oh, would you be Lord Sarwick? Say, have you got anything for old Wren? Just a coin for a wounded veteran? I do not remember you, old man. How do you know my name? I worked at Riverspring back in the day, my lord. With all due respect, you've gotten a few wrinkles, but you've not changed much. Would you also know my brother? I have come here to see him. No, my lord. I've never seen him in the flesh. It's his people that we know. Especially Hub, the groom. He comes to the taverns to throw back a few pints. And then he talks. He told us that Lord Garwin returned there not long ago to visit his father. And now Lord Sharwick is dead. There are rumors that your brother is back in town. There's no way to be sure, because Hub has not shown his face in a while. You would almost think the man had lost his thirst for ale. What is with RPGs and the bum always having all this worldly knowledge? Like, apparently we have an untapped resource living on the streets. I know enough. Here for your troubles. May you walk in the light of Relor. May the Seven watch over you, my lord. Yeah, whatever. Run away, stinky. Hey, 
Got a lot of vendors. Who wants the Fires, bet I can't buy anything? And the tide as well. How could I forget such a bouquet? What's up, Great McGrapenson? Oh, what do you sound? Flask, that's cool. Hey, I can actually afford something. Holy crap. This is amazing. I seriously need a helmet or something. We gotta cover up this head because it's driving me crazy how goofy he looks. Oh, I think I could put my thing back on. Hold on. Moore's looks too cool and Alistair just looks like a dip. Medium armor? We're not supposed to wear medium armor, I don't think. I think we're supposed to wear light. Oh well, I'm gonna keep it on anyway because it's way better than what I got. Alright, I think that's good. Everything looks up to par. Finally hit that disgusting hairdo. Peanuts and hairdos! Come. Talk to me, dude. Buy all this crap off me. Buddies. Don't need that. Buy these. Come, I've got just what you're looking for. I still can't afford a damn thing. All I do is run into these vendors and get disappointed. That's how it is. Run in, disappointed. Run out, disappointed. Run in, disappointed. Run out. Wow. Look at the damage. 56 damage, but look at the price. Seven golds. Lord sword. Wow, I can't afford that either. Why do I come to these places? They just make me upset. Oh, I guess this is a good time to keep you guys up to speed. Uh, if you haven't watched the show, we're in King's Landing right now. King's Landing is like the main place to be. This is where the king is, and this is where most of the politics happen in uh, the Seven Kingdoms. This is right here. There he is, Axe. Just like I said. Never trust Good a bum! Job. I'll take care of him. Think you're going somewhere, pretty boy? I see that the cutthroat business continues to flourish. You're not just talking to any old bandits here. We're called the Reapers. Mm. Now, Lord Sarwick will come with us quietly. I can be very unpleasant when Guess there's too what? much noise. Guess what? Not a single fuck is going to be given on this day. You chose the wrong prey. I don't have time for your little schemes. Carry on. Oh, I. You think you're too good for us, your highness? The problem, pretty boy, is that you're the one people are looking for. You'll help us get the reward. What reward? What are you talking about? There's a man worth a hundred gold dragons who has vanished. A man named Garwin Sarwick. One can only imagine that he's a member of your family. Yeah, point me to where so this where guy... Going? Who would put a bounty of a hundred gold dragons is. on my brother's head? I want to make That's madness. Twas the watch, pretty boy, and none other. Your brother is accused of killing Lord Sarwick of Riverspring, a damned kinslayer. I still fail to understand the link between the reward for my brother and me. No one has put a bounty on my head as far as I know. Perhaps. But you must know where he is. If you don't want to tell us, we'll spread the word that we beat you to a pulp. So your brother will show his face, and then we'll have him. Well, <sighs> your asses aren't going to kick themselves. Right. So I guess since I'm I have can't to do reason it. with you, let's settle this with steel. The light of Relor will welcome you home. The light right. of Relor will kill you Once all. Once I've broken all of your you teeth, death. you'll beg me to release you to your god. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now it's a fight. moment to grade one. Haha, you wasted your skill. Tough, believe it or not. Whooped his ass, though. He's giving me a good Alt. fight. What's going on here? Disarm yourself immediately in the name of the king. Shit. Gold cloaks. We'll see you again, lordling. Did I not just make you dead him. like one second ago? Of course not. Can you gotta send in moors if you me, want someone lord? killed correctly. Done nothing wrong. These thieves attacked me. I simply defended myself. I have never seen you in the city before, sir. Could you tell me your name? My name is Alistair Sarwick. Now I understand why you were attacked. You're the brother of the man accused of killing his father. This story certainly has tongues wagging. Your brother has quite a bounty on his head. And since the populace is starving to death, it could cause you problems. Keep your eyes open. Thank you for your consideration. Whatever the case, your attackers bolted like rats. Do you have any notion of who they were? They claim to be called the Reapers. Does that mean anything to you? Perhaps. A couple of useless brutes and thieves who crawl through the city sewers. Petty thugs for the most part. Their boss must be quite clever to still be working after all these years. But we'll get them sooner or later. Trust me. They all got away? Are you kidding me? All of them got away. <laughs> I'm gonna nickname that guy Smiles. Poor Smiles. He's still trying to figure out what came first. The chicken or the egg. It's like, I don't know. I should probably ask that bum. Hello, old Ren. Hope you're ready to die. So, you were their lookout, were you? Now that they're gone, you're all alone. And you will suffer the consequences of your actions. Oh, please. Oh, please, my lord. I had no choice. Enough. I will not be swayed by your lies. Oh, mercy. Believe me that I'm ashamed, my lord. He was wow, so good to me. Wow, this guy is just me. incredibly I beg of you, What the fuck? Take pity on an old man. With me frail hands made useless by my illness, I can no longer work. When I see a chance to earn a little coin, how can I pass it up? Another man would have slit your throat for less. Now disappear. Oh, my thanks, my lord. <laughs> Many thanks. This paragon shit's getting old. I should get a trait, merciful. Didn't get one. So you know what trait you need wired? Starts with a P, ends with a Y. That's how I feel. <laughs> See, that was like... That was like walk through hangman right there. Can you guess the word? Where do you think you're going, my lord? No one's to enter. Naughty, naughty. Okay. Find my, I'll find my own exclusive club, bitches. And I'm only gonna invite the hottest dudes, I mean the hottest chicks, around.
Why you look at me? Three days. What the hell's going on? I'm getting ambushed all over this bitch. Will you do what I tell you to do? You're so dead. <laughs> Did I not hit the button? Like, I, I hate this shit with this thing here. I hate having to use this menu, man. I wish there was just hotkeys or something. I can just hit a button and it works. Because it, like, it doesn't accept what I want to do half the time. So I think I'm doing it and then it doesn't happen. Why you look at me? What apple? I'm pretty lost. Let's just go to the quest marker. <laughs> I'm so desperate for money. It's just, it's funny. I'm so desperate. <laughs> The Sarwick residence is not far from here. It's the man of the watch. They've come to get Sarwick, the one with the price on his head. Death to the Kinslayer! Help him! Ah! We only found the servants, Lord Wex. Do you jest? There was no one else? No, my lord. Gowan is not here, Sir Vela. Hmm. Searching for your master, Garwin Sawi. You won't save him, but you can still save yourself. Tell me where he is. We don't know where he is. He's not been here for months. Take him to the Red Keep. No, I haven't done anything. I know nothing. Let me go. Lambert, no. Leave him be. Please, sir. My lord, mercy. My husband is a good man and loyal to the crown. He knows nothing. is restless. Let them be restless. Wex, have this residence watched. I'll let you know if I manage to drag anything out of this land. Valar doesn't rhyme with asshole, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Alistair. So, the rumors of your return were true. That red priest arriving in the middle of the ceremony like a ghost from the past. That was you. Did you return to go to your brother's execution? Garwin was arrested. 
Not yet, but it shouldn't be too long. I will personally make sure of it. Do you really need to massacre our servants to find our brother? Oh, so now we're brothers, are we? Yet when we were children, that was out of the question. I was just a bastard in your eyes. Now I serve the Queen, and I have orders to stop your kinslayer of a brother. What is certain is that Garwin's people had nothing to do with the death of our father, Valar. How can you be so sure? Don't worry, though. I'll make them talk. And it's Sir Valar now. Lord Tywin Lannister himself knighted me. I am not surprised. The powerful enjoy surrounding themselves with rabid dogs. I only do what is asked of me, and I'm rewarded in kind. A Lannister always pays his debts. Yes. But at what price? So, tell me, how is it that the Crown personally gave you this task? This task is normally for the Watch, but the Queen personally requested that one of her trusted men settle this matter. After all, you made me endure when we were young. Rest assured that it is a pleasure to have been given this task. Moreover, Garwin could have gotten in my way as the legitimate heir. But once he's lost his head, I doubt he'll bother me again. Don't count on it, Valar. I have returned, and I intend to keep you from perpetrating your crimes. Whatever claims and duties you had towards the Sarwick family, you turned your back on them long ago. River Spring will soon be mine, and no one will stop me. I was not in exile, Valar. I left of my own free will, and I am free to return whenever I see fit. I am the legitimate son of Lord Sarwick. You were the heir, but you abandoned your inheritance 15 years ago. Trust me, Valar. It was better for you that I left. Whatever happens, I shall be the Lord of Riverspring. And yet, you cannot ignore that I am betrothed to your sister, Eliana. By all the laws of the realm, Riverspring will go to me when we are wed, and there is nothing you can do about that. As you can see, the interests of the Sarwicks will soon be my own, dear big brother. It was time someone took care of them. I heard of this charade. Don't delude yourself too much, Valar. I shall put a stop to it. This alliance was decided by the Crown itself, and Eliana fully consented. You see, it's all been taken care of. Like for Garwin, who will be found and judged for his crime. It is the royal will, Alistair. It would not be prudent to oppose it. It matters not which throne you hide behind, Valar. I will not allow you to rule over my house, nor decide on my brother's fate. You're going after Garwin. You plan on marrying Eliana. From one day to the next, you go from a bastard without a lineage to being an heir to Riverspring. Don't try to convince me that you're content to go along with the royal will. This isn't going to lead me anywhere. Once my rights have been re-established, I will once again be Lord Sarwick. And I will find my brother. Don't count on it. I'm in charge of the matter. The Sarwick Mance will remain sealed until further notice. The City Watch will keep an eye on it, so stay away from this house. Do not get in my way, Alistair. I'm warning you. Trust me. We will meet again. <laughs>